Hello students, in this lecture we are going to understand about the differences between the processor core, processor and the microcontroller. Understanding these terms are really important in embedded system because most of the time we use these systems in a wrong way. So which leads to a lot of confusion. So let's see the difference between processor core and processor. So and this block diagram clearly clearly indicates that a processor is, is nothing but processor core that is the highlighted portion which is surrounded by a lot of peripherals. That means the processor itself is made up of core with supporting processor specific peripheral which is designed by ARM. So in this diagram you can see that Cortex M4 core is surrounded by various peripherals such as NVIC and system tick timer, memory protection unit and watch point unit and debugging unit. So now the question which may immediately trigger in your mind is what exactly that inside the Cortex M4 core. So the Cortex M4 core is actually basic commutational engine of the processor. It consisting of its own register set and it consisting of ALU where data commutation takes place. And also it is included with parallel shifter to perform fast multiplication and division. And it consisting of pipeline engine pipeline engine to boost the instruction that is to fasten the instruction execution and various register to manipulate the data. So the special function registers to track the execution state of the core. So all these components are actually part of the core. So the processor is also called from the term CPU which stands for central processing unit and so the entire block is called CPU core. So the CPU may have multiple cores. For example, the Cortex M4, this block consists of only consisting of only one core. So that is the difference between the processor and processor core. So the processor is nothing but the processor core, that is this block plus the surrounding processor specific peripheral. So next let's see what is the difference between processor and microcontroller. Remember that the Cortex M4 processor is designed by ARM. That means the processor core all its associated peripherals. That is the complete block. This processor core along with associated peripherals are actually in software IP format which will be passed down to the various microcontroller manufacturers like ST, microelectronics, Texas instruments and microchip etc. So the software IP of this design will be purchased by those microcontroller vendor and they will integrate this engine into the, their microcontroller. While integrating this engine, that means the CPU design with their microcontroller, they may remove some of the components from the design. For example, they may remove memory protection unit, breakpoint unit or watch point unit. So let's see what is exactly difference between Cortex M4 processor and microcontroller. Now, Let's take an example of microcontroller STM32F446RE which is actually designed by ST Microelectronics. Just go to this link. So ST32F446 Devices are based on high performance ARM Cortex M4 32 bit RISC core operating at the frequency of 180 MHz. And they say it as an ARM Cortex M4 
along with DSP and the floating point unit. Just you will have download the data sheet. So already I have downloaded that. So let's check the block diagram of this particular microcontroller. So go to functional overview. So this is the exactly block diagram of STM32 F44 six microcontroller so just look at the block diagram of microcontroller the heart of the microcontroller the heart of this microcontroller is cpu which is nothing but your cortex m4 that is your arm core along with all your peripherals so this unit is actually taken from arm and rest of the rest of and the rest all is implemented by ST electronics. So just you go back to your block diagram of Cortex M4. The whole engine is nothing but this one. That is this block, ARM Cortex M4 block. So as I said, so it talks to the external world by using its three bus interfaces, that is ICO, DECO and system bus that you can see here. And so this engine, that is CPU engine, interfaces to ST implementation by using three bus interfaces that is i bus d bus and s bus which we will discuss later so here this is the software ip so this block is the software ip given by the arm and these implementations are actually take done by st and they both meet at these bus interfaces and remember that in this block diagram in the arm cortex m4 act like a master and all other peripherals are actually slave to the master. All other peripherals associated with this block diagram, slave to the master, that means to CPU. And they both communicate through various bus interfaces. So hope you understood about the difference between processor core, processor and microcontroller. So in the next lecture, let's see about the features of development board used in our course. Thank you.